Hello, this is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and on this video I wanted to talk about the mid-side technique. So for this example, I'm just using a mix I did uh, probably 10 years ago or something. I chose this mix for a couple reasons. It contains a lot of uh, independent left-right information, and then the snare is a bit uh, almost abrasive, if you will, a little bit loud and very dry in the center of the mix. So from here, I just want to pull up the mix I have where things are already started and kind of tweaked a little bit. Okay, so I pulled this mix up here where I have some plugins already instantiated. I actually even have a reverb set over here. Um, just to explain a little bit, I'm using the Jammer S73 on both channels um, to kind of punch up the mix, do a little compression I want on it. And with the air EQ on the sides, I'm actually rolling off the low end on the sides a little more. And once again, just for kind of the latency reasons, I also have it instantiated over here, but I have it made inactive. And then over here on the sum track, I have a compressor inserted, and this is where the left and right mix and the mid mix are all meeting. And then here on the master fader, I just have a couple stereo field plugins set up. And then, as I mentioned, I have a reverb over here. So for the reverb, I just have it set up to bus 2324 on the mid, uh, feeding the reverb. The reverb is going to the output. Normally, you wouldn't add reverb to the center channel because it can definitely muddy up the mix. But in this situation, to just try and to uh, improve the snare, um, I added just a real light reverb on there because it was way too dry. I also rolled off a lot of lows of the EQ to kind of try to keep it from messing around with the low end of the mix too much and muddying that up. So normally you wouldn't be adding reverb to the center of the mix. That would typically be more on the sides. And here I'll be switching back and forth between the original unaltered mix and then the processed mix. <laughs> So now going back and forth, I'm sure you can hear a pretty drastic difference uh, in the two, whereas the original reference mix, I said it was dry, very forward, and on um, this tweak version here I worked on for a couple minutes, I was able to kind of pull the sides out a little bit, push the center back some, and tame the snare down a little bit, which is kind of what I was going for a lot on it. So what else I wanted to look at was um, how the mid, sides, everything correlates on a stereoscope. So first, let's look at the full mix together.
So I hope that gives you an idea visually of what's going on. So you can see when you pull out the mids and it's just the left and the right, how extreme that left and right is until you get that mid combined back in there and then it all kind of starts making sense and coming together again. So this didn't really contain much any of the theory. This was more of just how to put it all together. I have more of the theory end of it and what's going on on the article on our website, which is called Fun with the Mid-Side Technique. And also there, there is a link to a session template and kind of more of a breakdown of putting this all together in a, you know, step one, do this, step two, do this. So it's a lot easier and a lot quicker than sitting through either this video or trying to read through uh, the article, which has still obviously got a lot of overall information in it. So I hope this madness made some sense and that you find it interesting. I definitely see this technique as something to use minimally and not get dramatic with. Um, you can do some serious damage to a mix very quick with this, um, you know, especially if you start trying to push the sides too much. The next thing you know, the entire center falls apart. Your vocals get swallowed up. Bass disappears. Um, you know, you can create phase issues. Uh, different things like that. So I definitely kind of see it as something to not be using real heavy. So thank you for watching the video. Uh, any questions, comments, anything like that, please feel free to go to our website. Thank you.